subscribe to VidsTube for latest tech related videos. By the end of this video, you will learn about all the features mentioned in the title of this video and each of them is time coded along the video timeline and in the video description for ease to jump around various topics. Let's start with Google Maps. They should be pre-installed on your Galaxy Watch 5 or the Galaxy Watch 4. If not, go in the Play Store, search for it and install it. Now, this was not possible on previous Tizen OS Galaxy Watch 3 and Active 2. So if you want Google Maps on those watches, don't worry, I got you covered by a video that is linked at the end of this video and in the video description. Once you open the app, it will show you an option to voice dictate a place, keyboard option and map option with your current location. In case if you want to exit the map, just press on the current location finder and you will see an X mark to exit. Now, if you have an address saved on your Google account, they will all be displayed below these options. So you can directly click on any of them to start route tracking by either walking, bike or car. Once you select one of them, the navigation will start. In case if you want to have a map view, just scroll down all the way to see the estimated time with distance and option to exit as well as show it on map and under settings you will find a vibration setting which I would rather keep it turned on. Now when you click on the show map it will literally show you the real time location and the entire route plus it will give you turn by turn notification from the built in speaker. Now if your watch is paired to your car's bluetooth the voice command will be played onto your car's bluetooth. The map is pretty interactive, you can pinch with two fingers to zoom in or out. I end up using this daily for work to get traffic updates like road closure or accidents or even speed trap alert. Now going back, you can even type the destination place and the list of all the places will pop up for you to select from. But my favorite way to access map is from the home screen where I can just press and hold the top right button and summon Google Assistant to which I can just ask me to drive to different places like work etc. And that's as easy as that. Honestly Google map on Galaxy Watch is so robust, quick and easy to use that once you start using it you will likely never go onto your phone just like me where I just ask Google Assistant on my watch and it will do all that for me. Oh by the way, I have done a full video of all that Google Assistant can do and it is linked at the end so be sure to check it out. Now from my testing it's pretty responsive and fast, comment down below your thoughts. Now let's talk about Google Pay. I have used and made videos for Samsung Pay, Apple Pay, Fitbit Pay and you will find all those videos along with 500 plus videos on my channel so I'll highly insist you to subscribe which is free as I do a lot of tech videos like this one. So none of those payment system accepts my Costco CABC MasterCard that I use on regular basis at the time of filming this video except Google Pay. So the incentive for me to use Google Pay is really high and if you have a card like mine, keep watching and I bet you will never use your card, instead you will just use your watch from now on. So Google Wallet comes pre-installed on Galaxy Watch 5 and 4 along with it being pre-installed on your Android phone. You will need the Google Wallet setup on your smartphone in order for you to use it on your watch. Now once you have the Google Wallet installed on your watch, when you open it, it will prompt to set a screen lock in order for you to use Google Pay. So go ahead and set a screen lock which could be a pin or a pattern. Once done, the watch will prompt you to see and follow instructions on your smartphone which are pretty straightforward. If you have a card already added onto your smartphone's Google Wallet, then just with few clicks you will be all set and you will see the card on your watch screen. So now to pay with your watch, you just have to open the Google Wallet app, select the card and bring your watch close to the payment terminal and kaboom, you are all done. It's as easy as that and for security purpose, Google generates an alternate credit card number so the merchant will not see your credit card number so it's very secure. 
Plus the watch is smart at detecting changes like every time I take off my watch for charging and put it back on it will ask me to enter the pin or pattern and once the watch stays on my wrist it will know that it has been on my wrist and it won't even bother me entering the pin every single time. Now I have tested this feature by placing the watch on my wife's wrist and it knew that it's not on my wrist. You can even check all the transactions made from the watch and you can see that I do regularly use it. So comment down below if you use Google Pay on regular basis and if your card works on it or not. Finally, let's talk about how to add GPX file on your watch for workout tracking and let me show you how cool and life saving is the track back feature. Now on your Wear OS 3 Galaxy smartwatch, you can now add a GPX file that is basically a GPS exchange format. It basically is a text file with geographic information such as waypoints, tracks, routes, etc. So if you were to go out for especially a hike, I would just quickly do a Google search on my phone, for example, Bow Lake GPX file. And I will usually go on this website which by no means I am affiliated with. Now here it will show the interactive map with distance, elevation gain and all other stats. So I would just download it, open the default file explorer and once I click on the downloaded GPX file, it will prompt to open with which I would select Samsung Health. Now it will show all the details of the route plus it will prompt you to select workout type which in my case will be hike. You can also get option to reverse the route which is very nifty. Now you can load this file onto your watch or phone. Once you select watch, the file will be sent over to the watch and the hiking workout will start. So you can see it's as easy as that. When you swipe right, you will get all these options. Let's go in the settings. And here is where you find the option for track back. This has personally been really resourceful to me. There were many instances where once I am done hiking on my way back I would turn on the track back mode and I got shocked that without any internet connection the watch has recorded the entire hike route and it will prompt me to stay on the tracked route so I don't get lost and I always make it back to the start point. Not only that, it even prompts by voice command from the built-in speaker the for me lap. to stay on track if I miss any turns. In 30 meters, turn left. It even gives me a heads up that a turn is coming up in few meters or so. This is indeed a very cool feature so all the hikers and bikers out there just start using this feature and you will know its value. Comment down below if you have used this feature and your thoughts about it. Also be sure to help this video by hitting that like button and subscribe. Also, be sure to share it and save it as you may need to come back to this video for future reference. Be sure to check out these videos as you will find them helpful.